Hello children. So today I'm here with the third part of our chapter, the skeletal and muscular system. In first two parts, we had already discussed about the different kinds of bones present in our body, their functions, and uh, about different kinds of joints. Today, in this video, we will study about muscles. Muscles. So, what do you understand by muscles? Muscles are nothing but a kind of tissue. Children, as you know, that our body consists of several tissues, but muscle is a special kind of tissue that can expand and contract just like an elastic band. And you know, there are over 600 muscles in our body, and these 600 muscles do various activities. Among these, the most important activity of a muscle or the most important function of a muscle is that it helps us in movement. So how muscles helps us to move, we will study in detail. When the muscles contract and relax, they move the bones. When a muscle contracts, the bones are pulled close to each other. So as you can understand that muscles don't work alone, muscles work with bones in pair. For example, when we bend our knee, the leg muscles contract and thus become shorter. And when we extend our leg, the muscles relax and become longer. Muscles also helps us to maintain our posture and to do various activities. Tendons and ligaments. Tendons and ligaments are thick band of tissues. Both of them help us to balance the body structure and to help us in our body movement. Then how can we differentiate mus tendon and ligaments? Tendon is a tissue which attaches muscles to bones whereas ligament is a tissue that holds the bones together. If you can see in the picture you can easily identify the tendon and ligament. Tendon is a tissue which has attached the muscle and the bone together if you can see in the first picture whereas in the second picture you can see ligaments present wherever the two bones are meeting together all right now different kinds of muscles muscles can be classified into three types striped muscles smooth muscles or cardiac muscles as you can see in the picture given below, the three muscles are of different structures and uh, they also have different functions which we'll read in next slide. Striped or striated muscles or they are also known as skeletal muscles. These muscles have stripes on them just like a zebra. Therefore, they are called striped or striated muscles. These muscles are under our control. We can move them according to our will. As you can move your arms and legs according to your own wish. That is why these muscles are also called voluntary muscles. Second, smooth muscles. They don't have any stripes on them as striped muscles. And they are also not in our control. They work on their own and are controlled by the brain and spinal cord. Therefore, these muscles are known as involuntary muscles. As you know that we can't control the process of the digestion, we can't control the uh, flow of the blood in our blood vessels. So in these a in these places, smooth muscles are present. And our stomach, intestine, walls of blood vessels, etc. Third is cardiac muscles. These muscles are not attached to any bone. These muscles are very strong and hence they don't get tired. Do you know cardiac muscle is the only muscle which works 24-7 throughout our lifetime and they never get tired and they never stop. These muscles are involuntary in nature because they are not in our control. And where are they present? Cardiac muscles are present in our heart. So children, this was all about different kinds of muscles and with this we complete our chapter. In the previous videos I had already uh, given you spellings, definition and few question answers. Here are the remaining question answers.
note down these question answers in your copy in good handwriting and draw all the diagrams neatly and when you finish I would advise you to go through the chapter once again and learn everything thank you and have a good day